<laughs> so, whether you're celebrating Christmas, Hanukkah, or any other religious holiday that I'm too ignorant to know about, you need some gift ideas before you completely panic and end up doing all your gift shopping at the local drugstore. So, let's quickly rip through this gift guide covering a wide range of budgets so you still have enough time for everything to be delivered. First up, at 250 bucks, is the JBL Link View Smart Display. Loaded with Google Assistant and Chromecast support, you can control smart home devices, uh, check the weather, the news, see upcoming events, or even look up recipes with step-by-step -step instructions, which my wife and I think is amazeballs. Actually, it's just my wife that thinks it's cool. I'm just happy to get fed. <laughs> uh, there's a few different music services you can stream from, or you can connect your phone via Bluetooth or Chromecast and stream that way. And since JBL does audio so well, it sounds awesome thanks to the two front-facing two-inch drivers and rear-facing bass radiator. And while I wouldn't recommend trying to watch long-form content, the 8-inch 1280 by 800 resolution display is plenty good for watching some quick YouTube videos. There's a built-in 5-megapixel camera for video calls, and it's got a lens blocker that you can slide over just in case you don't like Russian hackers watching you cook naked. Same kind of thing for the microphones too. You can mute them so they don't have to listen to your horrible singing voice either. Unfortunately, I can't find it on Amazon for whatever stupid reason. So yeah, you're gonna have to brave the holiday shopping crowd at Best Buy to pick up this guy. Sorry. And next up for 200 bucks is the latest version of the new mobile G3, which is perfect for people who just want a basic phone. For basic bitches. No, I'm just joking. Uh, it comes in three colors. I've got the ruby red here, which looks awesome. Uh, it's running a nice light version of Android 8.0 with literally no bloatware. It packs the Helio P25 CPU, which is pretty much the Chinese version of the Snapdragon 625, as well as four gigs of RAM. So it should be more than enough for daily activities. The mono speaker on the bottom is what you'd expect from a $200 smartphone, but it'll get the job done. The fingerprint scanner on the back is noticeably slower than most phones these days, but I was pretty impressed by how consistently accurate it is. The 5.7 inch 1440 by 720 LCD display actually has some pretty punchy colors and for what it's worth, text is fairly sharp, but I mean, let's be honest, for folks like you and me, those pixels are still sharp enough to cut your eyes on. We've got a dual camera setup on the back with a 13 megapixel sensor and a five megapixel sensor for portraits and a 13 megapixel on the front. The cameras actually performed better than I thought at this price. And the 3000 milliamp hour battery will definitely get almost anyone a full day's use thanks in part to the 720p display and it's pretty much stock version of Android. All right, next up you can use it for gaming, recording Shania Twain covers, or for starting a charming and totally politically correct YouTube channel like mine. At 100 bucks, this is the Blue Yeti Nano. <laughs> First of all, this thing looks sick. Love that shadow gray color. The industrial design looks awesome. And it's got that built like a tank build quality. Now it is USB out only. So there's no traditional line out jacks or XLR outputs, but there is a 3.5 mil headphones out port with a volume dial on the front for keeping your voice levels in check. Cause trust me, no one likes a screamer. Well, some of us do. Hey -o! And for that cherry on top, there's also a pickup pattern button on the back for switching between cardioid or omnidirectional depending on what you're doing. So that's pretty sweet. And now I'm recording this using the cardioid pattern on the Yeti Nano. So uh, let's test the audio with a, a lighthearted joke, shall we? Here we go. <coughs> so I bought my blind friend a cheese grater for his birthday the other day. And then I saw him a week later and he told me it was the most violent book he's ever read. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there you go. Let's move on to the next item. So why have one Bluetooth speaker when you can have two for 60 bucks? These are the O6s or something like that from Spode. Uh, you can actually buy them individually, but since they've got this stereo pairing feature and together they sound awesome, I figured what the hell, let's present them as a pair. These things are tiny. They're about half as tall as a beer can and just a bit wider. They look a lot like JBL's Bluetooth speakers, except they don't cost nearly as much or sound nearly as good. You should be able to squeak five to six hours of playtime out of them. Um, they're IPX6 water resistant. They've got all your typical music controls and on the back behind the water resistant flap, we've got micro USB for charging and auxiliary port and a micro SD card slot. Um, pairing the two speakers together was almost too easy and together they sound really good for their size. And you should be able to fit two of these in your backpack without taking up too much space. Um, now listening to one speaker by itself, it sounds deep 
decent. Of course, it's lacking in the base due to the small size and basically no room for a resonance chamber, but it's got solid mids and crispy highs. Pair two together though, and you not only get stereo sound, but with them both working together, those good sounding mids make up for the lack in bass. Next up for 55 bucks is this super classy five card leather wallet from Popov Leather. And it might not be tech, but you'll need a wallet to hold all those credit cards you're about to max out buying shit for people who, let's face it, probably don't deserve it. Now, Popov uses Horween leather that smells so good, <laughs> It'll send shivers down your back. And all pop-off wallets are literally handcrafted right here in Canada and use extra thick stitching to make sure they wear well over time and don't just fall apart in a year or two or 10. And they're great for minimalists looking for something small, classy and functional with zero branding anywhere. Oh, and they come with a lifetime warranty. I guess that's how confident pop-off is about their products. <laughs> right then, next up for 30 bucks is the Anchor USB-C PD30 power adapter. You know, pretty self-explanatory, not much to say. I mean, it, it charges shit, but it does have power delivery at 30 watts. What does that mean? Well, it can quick, rapid, or fast charge pretty much anything you throw at it, and it can even keep your MacBook Pro charged up too, which is the main reason I have it. It's small, which makes it perfect for traveling, so I just throw it in my bag and bring whatever cables I might need whenever I'm gonna go out of town. It's basically all I need for all things charging. Next, for only 12 bucks, is the Kingston Mobile Light Duo. It's a micro SD card reader with a USB-A on one side and USB-C on the other. Now, the micro SD card slides into the slot on the top so that it pretty much becomes a flash drive with a swappable storage slot, which is actually how I've been using it. So for example, uh, I use it to keep all my PC testing utilities for when I review laptops and to transfer recorded gameplay footage for the B-roll. And because some laptops only have USB-C ports and some only have USB-A ports, it's come in really handy many, many times. And if you did want to pick up the super useful Mobileite Duo, 32 gigabyte Kingston Canvas React micro SD cards are dirt cheap right now at only 13 bucks. Okay, that's everything. Uh, links for everything will be in the description down below. Hopefully you were able to find something you like or at least got some ideas for gifts and hopefully you're giving gifts to someone who actually deserves it this year. Otherwise, there's always the dollar store, baby. But that does it for this one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes shenanigans and a peek at new products I'll be reviewing as they arrive. If you enjoyed the video, show me some love with that like button and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Cheers.